Love my life with Bill I'm your friggin' host, Bill And what do you think of the dyed beard, boys, girls, peoples? Don't forget to hit the like button down below if you like it. Why wouldn't you? Look at me. I look friggin' 10 years goddamn younger, I do. Well, maybe not 10 years, but a few years. Friggin' right, I do. But yesterday, I got something coming up. Let me know if you want to go. Next weekend, I'm thinking about going boondocking in the trailer by myself to watch some no prep racing in Grand Bend. Let me know if you want to see that kind of stuff. I got the generator all mounted yesterday, and I also sold myself up a friggin' cover for it. Check out the cover. That's friggin' decent. Holy, you're crooked and dick. Friggin' right, it's decent. Hey, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, did you ever see that video on wherever, where they use a torch? to make things black again. Well, I tried it on the front cover of the trailer and it actually worked, but I don't know how long it will work for, but check it out. It's black again. It was all gone white and real crappy looking, and now it's black. But you can see a little bit of the streak in and stuff, and you can see where you put a little bit more heat than normal, but we'll have to see how long that lasts. Why wouldn't we? Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. If you like that stuff I just showed you, why wouldn't you? I don't know what I'm going to do today. There's no wind, so I could do a drone fly. But I'm not sure if I want to do a drone fly or not. I'm having mixed feelings about that. I'm happy as pig and shit with a friggin' Pioneer CarPlay. The only problem I had with it, it doesn't have a remote. So, I heard if you have yourself an LT Chevy Silverado, let me know if you've done this. I doubt you have because why would you? But, I heard you can buy the steering wheel controls and they're already pre-wired for them. So I'm gonna maybe hit up Sarnia Auto Records there next uh, week and see if they have a steering wheel with the uh, volume controller knobs. So I'm coming to see you guys if you're watching my video. So give me a good deal on it, why wouldn't you? I'll just buy the whole steering wheel, you can keep the airbag. Friggin' right you can, I don't need no bag. I got one, Jim. Look at the wind picked up, just so they say it's not windy today. See what happens, eh? I farted in my own cereal. Friggin' right, dude. I got dad coming out to see us. He's gonna come for a visit. On a good note, I do have something, and I forgot we're going to have a how-to with Bilsev here soon, so just stay tuned for that. Let's go in the trailer, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Why wouldn't we? As you all know, my trailer is a cruise light, and they, they are a piece of crap. They really are. So if you're going to buy a trailer, make sure you buy yourself not a cruise light, unless you really need something that's light. In the shower, I show you, but I never want to take you in the shower with me because you probably wouldn't appreciate that. But in the shower, most of the new ones have a skylight here for your head. So you have a little bit more room and a little bit more light in the bathroom because the bathroom is pretty dark. So I bought myself one of these skylights. I did. So we're going to be putting that in here shortly. And it'll take you along for the ride if you want. So let me know if you want to see an RV Skyliner made in the USA. Skylight installed, Jim. And I'm going to get some windows, put them in the doors. I was going to get a window, put it in the bottom bunk down there. See, the top bunk has a window, the bottom bunk don't. So we're going to put one in there. And I'm going to see if I can maybe find some side slide windows for this thing. And then we're going to friggin' redo the interior. I'm going to get the old sewing machine out. We're going to change the curtain style. We're going to change the wall patterns. We're going to change everything in here. This is, I'm going to make it mine. I might get a Life with Bills of sticker for the outside of the friggin' beast. Let me know if you think that's a good idea. That'd be kind of cool, eh? I got my stickers in from the mail finally for the old Silverado and the uh, Kia. So we should put them on today because they've been in the trailer for a week and a half. But yeah, I wanted to show you that. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me install that skylight and cock over and make a big hole in the friggin' roof and just dick it right over, Captain. I'd do it for you today, but I'm waiting for some lap sealant to come in. So really, today is just kind of a waiting game. Not much going on today. I might just uh, kind of chill out. Maybe go for a drive later, see if I can find something. I have nothing to really work on here today. The lawn's just cocked over because it's been drier than decks. I got a whole bunch of freaking, uh, the lawn just looks horrible. I'm not even going to show you. I got to get the old roundup here too because the weeds are just crazy this year. I think it's because it's so dry. Got to get out the weed whacker and do some whack weeding. See, none of that stuff you want to see. Well, this is just a short little video. Hopefully you're having a good weekend like I am, not doing anything I ain't doing. And I just wanted to give you a quick update, let you know what's happening. Hopefully you, uh, you stick around for some more to come. And other than that, like I said, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see uh, some no prep racing next weekend. Oh, two o'clock today, I'm supposed to be at the friggin' lawnmower races. Frig, I gotta get down there. So we are doing something today. There you go, so stay tuned for that video to come. Very right, you should. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am not doing anything I ain't doing. And until next time, you know what to do for now.